Okay guys, welcome to the show. It's me again, Paul P. I'm here in Agent Court for Konji Queen. Okay, here's a secret. My family, whenever I arrive, whenever I'm here in Canada, we always come to Konji Queen for our Chinese food fix. It, one, it's affordable. Two, it's delicious. Okay, so I will now show you what we ordered so far okay okay guys so so far here's what has arrived from our orders this is fish maw soup with crab meat the roasted pork well technically they're lechon macau roasted pork it comes with the sweet sauce look at that i'll be featuring the other items when they arrive okay Here's the other dishes that we ordered. This is sweet and sour fish or grouper. We requested the sauce on the side because um, my uncle has very high sugar. Which is actually, this is very nice of them to do it for us. And this is their crispy noodles pancit or their chow mein. Look at that. Look at the assortment of seafood, pork beef and veggies it's still steaming look at that okay we have two more dishes coming which is the vegetable hot pot and the uh, salt and pepper squid okay which is actually my favorite so I'll take a video of that when it comes oh talk about that it's here Look at this guys, this is the vegetable hot pot, Ooh, still steaming, look at that, okay, so we will now get on with our meal first, okay, bye bye, okay, so our final dish has arrived, this is their salt and pepper squid, look at that, and look at the spread, Look at the food spread that we have. Wow! And guess how many people are gonna eat? Three people. <laughs> okay? So I will enjoy my meal with my family and I'll give you the review afterwards. Okay, guys. So we'll start with their fish mao soup. Look at this, guys. This is fish mao. Fish. Technically, it's, it, it's fish mao. It's, was fish lips, but it's actually the stomach of the fish. It, it's it, it's that gelatinous thing there. Look at that. But they partnered it with shredded crab. And this is a seafood style broth. Look at that. Clear broth. And we're gonna give it a try. Mm. That is good. That is so good. You can really taste the crab. Taste it. It's not that fishy. It's actually more seafoody. Yeah, if there's a term seafoody, yes, it's a bit seafoody, but it's so good. Nice and savory. It's nice and hot. It's perfect for this cold weather we're having right now. I'm going for a second bite. <clears throat> That's so good. The fish mouth is a bit chewy, but the flakes of of crab is really nice. Complements it really well. Okay. So I'll continue with my soup, then I'll move on to the next dish. Okay, for our next dish, guys, I got their roast pork. Look at that. The fat is nice and glistening. And the skin looks awesomely crispy. Look at that. Ooh -wee. So now I'm going to give this one a bite first without any sauce. Nice and savory. Not too salty. It has a 
so much Chinese five spice flavor to it but it's really nice well now we'll try this with a bit of their sauce look at that Ooh. okay That's a nice sweet plum sauce with a somewhat anise flavored aftertaste. So good. Yeah. Okay. I'll move on to the next dish, which is their squid. Here it is. I'll get a couple of pieces. This is actually my favorite dish here. Truth is, they don't need sauce on it because it's already flavorful as it is. Look at that. Okay. As you can see, guys, it's so tender. I just bit through it like it was butter. Okay. And the flavor is. Not too salty, not too, not too oily. It has a nice crunch to it too. That has got to be my favorite this year. Okay. Next we will try their fish. This is their sweet and sour fish but I chose no sweet and sour sauce yet okay it's nice and it's actually seasoned well enough that you don't need sauce but we'll give it a try with a bit of their sauce look at that Ooh -wee. Let's pray that this, this doesn't drip on my shirt. That sour, sweet and sour sauce cuts the oiliness of the fried fish perfectly. Okay? It's, it, that fish is so tender and so flaky, it just flakes inside your mouth. That's really awesome dish. Okay, I will continue eating this, then I'll give you the review of the last two dishes that we have, which is the vegetables and the chow mein. Okay? Okay, guys. <laughs> this is the vegetable hot pot. They gave me gluten. Actually, this is not gluten. This is actually bean curd skin. This is mushrooms. Different kinds of mushrooms. And then for the for the chow mein, they gave me the noodles, shrimp, chicken, squid, and some veggies with a huge meaty mushroom. Okay. So we'll start with the uh, bean curd. I love my bean curd. I switched to the fork because I don't want to spill anything on my shirt. Look at that. That's so good. Yes, this is a vegetarian dish. I'm not against any vegans out there, but if vegan food is, tastes this good, I might consider to change my ways. Might. Very, very far cry might. Okay, this is their mushrooms. Mm. That is heavenly good. Wait, let me cut the noodles. Okay guys, so I got a bit of the noodles, look at that, it's a bit crunchy at the bottom. 
Okay guys, uh, let's redo that. My camera died. So we'll get a bit of the noodles. Look at the noodles guys, it's a bit crunchy at the bottom. Mm. Perfect bite guys, perfect bite. I don't know if you can call Chinese noodles supposed to be al dente, but that's al, al dente. And that sauce is so good it's so silky so creamy oh. and that shrimp that sh plump shrimp is so fresh okay so far all the dishes are awesome i'll eat this this mushroom for you guys i know i'm not i don't eat veggies but this one it looks so good i'm gonna give some a bite mm. okay I will continue eating with my family first, and I'll give you the review of the restaurants after the restaurant afterwards. See ya. Okay, guys, uh, I just finished my meal. Oh. This is actually my first heavy meal of the day. I've been roaming around downtown with my uncle. We went, uh, we walked roughly about a little bit over three kilometers today in the freezing cold weather. But the funny thing is, it's all because of a rubber shoe. <laughs> so, uh, here's my review for Konji Queen. Uh, we'll base it on the five criteria location, ambiance, service, food, and price. So, let's start with our location. This one is in Asian Court, they have a few other branches, one near Seafood City and one near Markham and one in Dawn Mills I've been I've been eating in those branches and a few others but this is what this one has to be my favorite because of the roast pork they have here okay so I give the location five out of five because easily accessible for everyone okay let's go criteria number two ambiance ambiance is awesome Music's not too loud. You can still talk to your family or friends. The seats are huge. They don't have armrests. So that's a plus for me. And it's roomy enough that you have elbow room when you eat. So I give that 5 out of 5 again. Now let's talk about service. Service. Let's put it this way. From the time we entered and we sat down, we ordered... To the time the food arrived, all the items arrived on the table, we was in a span of 20 minutes. That's how fast the service is. As even as as we were ordering, they're already prepping what we wanted to what we wanted to eat. That's how awesome they are. So I give the service. I can give them six. I'll give them six out of five. Okay. Now food. Oh my God. I wouldn't be coming back to a restaurant if the food wasn't good. For me, the best dish here had to be that squid. We ordered two orders of the squid, one order for my aunt and uncle, and uh, one order was just for me. I love my squid. Really love my squid. That was my favorite. Next best dish had the, was the roast pork, crispy skin, juicy meat. And then... I would have to choose my third best dish had to be that chow mein. It was so good. Okay? So, food wise, overall, I give it 5 out of 5 always good on points. Now, price. Price wise, I spent a little bit under 150 Canadian here. But, is it worth it? 100 million percent, yes. If I, if I had a chance to come back here with my brother, I would bring him here. That's how much I love this place. Okay? Every time I come to Canada, 
And there's no, there's no, no vacation that I came here that I didn't pass by Konji Queen and have my squid. I love my squid, okay? So, Konji Queen, awesome job. A total of 5 out of 5, always good on points. And that was a record for me, okay? So, thank you for watching the vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Paul Always Gutom Never Busog. On Twitter at Always Gutom, Paul Always Gutom. On Facebook at Always Gutom Never Busog. So, till the next vlog, see you in the dining room. Tara kain tayo.